Hello, everybody, and welcome to Taking Your Classroom to the Next Level. I'm, of course, Ryan Reed, Instructional Technologist. In this day and age of technology, everywhere from mobile devices to desktop and other computerized devices, we're trying to integrate more technology in the classroom, but make it fun and enjoyable, especially with everything from bell ringers to a little bit of group interaction and reviews. So I'm here to talk today about Kahoot. Kahoot is a fun and wonderful online resource that actually allows quizzes, reviews, and surveys. And it doesn't matter if you have a mobile device, a desktop, or any type of learning. All you need is to have a computer, a type of projection screen, or a TV, and of course, the fun to learn it. Now, let's talk about Kahoot. So, hello everybody, and here is Kahoot. You pretty much get here by going to getkahoot.com, and once you do there, you will sign up for a free trial account. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not a trial account. It's actually a free regular account if you're an educator. Uh, once you've created there, then you can just go back to getkahoot.com and sign in. So, uh, I've done all that already, so we're going to move on. So, you'll get your normal dashboard screen here. Um, you'll have your main uh, profile, public uh, figures, help menu, and so forth and so forth, or if you want to create a new quiz here. So let's say you want to create a new quiz. First you go to New K, New Kahoot, get it? So right here it says you sure you want to leave your page if you've already worked on one. I was working on this one for a tutorial for the teachers, so I'm going to say save and exit. And now right here, uh, just so you know right here, as you can see, if you have any questions about Kahoot, they have uh, forums as well as public video and everything, so you can go right here. So let's go right into the main part of Kahoot I'm going to work on today. I'm going to create a quiz. So I click on quiz, and it says right here, let's create a name. Let's call this uh, Kahoot for Art, because I'm actually helping one of my art teachers right now with a project here, so I'm going to hit go. Uh, so right here is your main uh, main screen here. So it's going to ask right now, do you want to do an image or a video? Now, right now, video is brand new to Kahoot, and it doesn't like anything beyond uh, 1.5 megabytes. So just giving everybody a, a heads, heads up there. So if you're going to do a video, it has to be very short right now. That is going to change in the meantime. Um, and then once you've uh, created your question, so right here, say, uh, what type of perspective is this? And I'm going to load in my video, so I click on this. I look for my little one. That's not what I wanted. Here's what I wanted. So you click on this, um, it'll upload. It takes GIFs, uh, bitmaps, JPEGs, and everything else. And now it says, what perspective is this? Now, as you can see here with the original design, and as you can see, I can scroll no problem. This is doing with single perspective here because of the way the art is done through the grid line. So I go down and type my answer. So I say 2.1.1.1. Two point, two point, 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 or no points. No point perspective just to be a little clear and now as you can see they're all marked incorrect so what happens is once you're ready to go you basically just correct here and you click on the right answer and now as you can see you can make points for this so you can make this no points you can make this a no points question or you can just say this will do points and depending on how many uh, quiz questions you have it'll total a uh, equal amount of points here and then you set your time limit so you can do anywhere from 5 to 120 seconds basically what you believe is going to be needed now if they're very in-depth pictures or video you might want to give a little bit more time and do the 60 to a minute in this case um, for most considering this is intermediate art class we're going to just do the 30 seconds so they can look at that and then once that's all finished we basically just go right here to add next question this will save and you move on once you're all finished you basically just say next to reorder questions but as you can see whoops I can't because you didn't do an answer one blank you didn't do answer two you have to have two or more questions or this is not going to work correctly so I'm going to get the next set of questions let's get over here where is that one no that's not it there's what I want it's a little bookmark we created for our little library projects if anybody wants to check that out so I'll say right here what are the shapes of the gears in the bookmark? So you can just say plain gears, which is incorrect. Cogs, which is the correct answer, and I can set that right now. Answer three would be bind bindings, or number four would be, let's say, bolts. Just uh, give a little time. Once that's all done, like I said, do the points here. No questions or points. Make sure the answer is all right. Oh, I made a spelling error. Fix that. And that's all done. So once that's in, I'm going to hit say next. 
And there we go. Now I have my two questions. And right now it gives you the four choices, basically. So this would be a 100 points quiz. There's only two questions. If I want to, I can reorder the quizzes in order. I just click on this and drag it. And as you can see, it also gives you a choice. If you want to, you can do up to six uh, question answer choices or anything. And once everything's finished, you just uh, hit next, go to settings. And as you can see, it goes right here. What do you want to do before you finish? We'll just say this is in the course English. We're going to make this public. And then it says right here, what is the primary audience? You can say school, university, business, training, event. Thing. This, of course, is a school event. And then after that, we'll just say this is an art co quiz and then as you can say we can do your uh, difficulty level like I said this is for intermediate arts right everything so I leave it intermediate if this was like from very beginning I can make this all the way down to beginner and actually adjust this level it's very similar to Edmoda but if I say this is a really in-depth quiz or practice I can make this as advanced as I want to so this gives a little bit more but like I said this is an important thing you can make this public to everybody or you can make it private when you make it private basically it means it's not going to be show out to Kahoot Kahoot is a social network because other teachers and uh, project creators work on these type of things for uh, training purposes and reviews and everything so you actually can set the private to where you get your code for the, your students and stuff. but if you say this is really cool it's nothing crazy and I want to inspire something then you can go right ahead and make this public and it will make it public and then you can even add tags so I can just put in art that's all I'm gonna do I'm gonna say just regular art and it makes it we're good so I say do I want to make a cover image you don't have to you can leave this blank but you can do a little cover image so I can put right here and I can go over here and I can just be a little funny here and do my bookmark again because as we know that's gonna be a question and actually it does do a type of perspective as well there so we're just gonna leave that right there and once everything done if you want to re-edit or add more questions you hit edit if not you just hit done and there you go now it's asking of course right here well, you're done now. What are you on to do? Well, we can just save this. We can share this on the social networks or anything else. So now that you've seen how the quizzes are made, I'll show you exactly how the discussions work. They work very similar. Once I go to a new Kahoot, I basically select the question. The discussion is gather opinions or facilitate debate with one quick question. So my question right now is going to be, how did the British intend to bankrupt the colonists? If everybody knows the answer to that, you probably can uh, answer this discussion pretty well. So I'm just going to hit go. And once it does that, there it is. It's also going to once again ask you, similar to a quiz, you want to do an image or file here. You don't have to. But like I said, it works very good. In certain truth, um, excuse me, interesting how you can do this. I mean, you can actually put a picture of, you know, the British flag, you put a picture of the Boston Tea Party, whatever would work here if you want to do this discussion. I mean, no, nothing like that. But however, you can do this as a quick answer. You can actually do this as a normal discussion and do a quick 30 seconds or 5, 10 seconds. I'm going to do 20 seconds because this is a quick answer. So they can say is, um, one thing is taxing them. Or the second answer, which of course would be, uh, port blockade, which is the correct answer. And there we go. And that's all finished. You can add another answer if you want to. If you're not, you can get rid of it. But once that's all finished there, you are all set. And basically, they would get you would give them the answer, and they would go from there. And we'd be all set. Now, and the survey now works very similar too. So if I click on survey here, it's going to ask you what is, you know what do you want to give this survey? I would probably, of course, uh, I'm going to be a little funny here and just say, and then basically we're going to just do a little. Uh, I'm going to use my little. I'm, I was thinking of using the Kahoot video, but I'm just going to use a simple picture video here just to get this going so everybody can understand here. There's my pick collage. There's my pick collage. And of course, here's the questions and everything. So I'm just going to give it really simple. Yes, new. No. <laughs> simple as that. And once we're finished, we just let that go. And we're finished. And I'm just going to hit, of course, really quick over here. Hit new Kahoot, save draft, and that's ready for later. So now everybody's probably wondering, okay, so, right, 
how does this actually work? Well, the great thing about Kahoot, as I said earlier, is how this can work on any device, mobile, desktop, anything that allows you to get web-based uh, searching here, you can use Kahoot. So let's get off and start doing this, shall we? So I'm going to go to me really quick. I'm going to go right over here for Kahoot from Art. As you can see, my other drafts are saved here for the quizzes and action. But this is how this works. So, like I said, you can favorite this, you can share this. But whatever, we want to play this. So I'm going to hit play. And right here it's saying, okay, Kahoot, quiz game, Kahoot for Art. You can launch here. But as you can see here, you can actually do a couple things like display game pin throughout, show, you know, miss lobby instructions and so forth. We're not going to do any of those, but if you want to, you can even play music. And uh, I would do music, but it, it can be a little distracting sometimes, so I'm not going to use music here. But if you're doing bell ringers or anything, this can really be fun because this will really get them thinking, like, oh, I better figure out an answer before I run out of time. So, uh, so but for today, we're not going to do any of these options. So I'm going to hit launch. And once they do launch right there, it's going to give me the game pin. So it says joinkahoot.com. So what I'm going to do, right here is my game pin, 9983. So I am going to go in right now to my iPad. And I will turn it on. And once I do that, I'm going to go over to the Safari tab. Now, if you don't have Safari, you can use anything else. And I'm going to type in right here, Kah Kahoot it. I have it already saved right here, kahoot.it. I'm going to hit that. And, of course, it asks me, is like, what was my game pin? So what I do on my device is I click on that. And, of course, I'm going to double-check my pin. What was that? 9983. So I'll put in 9983. I'm going to hit Enter. And once I do this, it's going to ask me for a nickname. So I'm just going to call this Ryan. And I'm going to hit Join Game. Now, as you can say, you're in... Do you, and, you know, do you see your name on the front? Now, this is what you got to remember. Wherever you're doing your Kahoot, it has to be the ability to actually project it somewhere. So if you have a computer hooked to a projector, you can do it that way. If you have a TV that's hooked up to your computer, mobile device or anything, you have to have that visible for the students because all your mobile device or other computers is basically this is an answer keypad. So you got to remember that the students need to see this main screen. So right now, as you can see, I have only one player. If I had multiple players, it would all list here. And you can have a lot of players on here, so don't worry about running out of uh, space or anything. And once you're ready to go, you hit Start Now. And then this is what it does. So it's going to say, okay, two questions. Are you ready? In the words of Bob the Builder, yes, we are. What are the shapes of the gears in the bookmark? So once the question loads, it shows my picture. So there it is. Here's our four answers. If you look at my quiz here, this is what the students see. So they have to look at the answers and check this out. Now, I don't have a lot of time, and I know it's cog, so I'm going to hit the question. I hit it. I got the right answer before time expired. Now, keep in mind, it's going to go into either time expires or everybody's putting an answer, and then it will show it. And then, actually, once it's all ready, as you can see here, you can move on to the next question. So I ask everybody, are you ready? Yes, we are. I hit next. So right now, boom. Boom. What is the score? Ryan has 800 points. Woo! Go me. Go me. Now, here's the interesting thing here. This is going to answer it several ways. A, who answered the first and who answered the fastest, and then it will show the scoreboard. So it does the list. So you can keep track, but it also gives you a little bit of that. And like I said, if some students don't want to really get too competitive, they can, like I said, do cute new nicknames. Just do everything appropriate. So once that's all finished, you have the choice of going next or ending the quiz early, but we're going to go next. So here we go. And as you can see, there's a countdown on the iPad here. It's giving a countdown to the question. So the answer is up here. What type of perspective it is? As you know, I did one point, so I will quickly answer it. Okay, correct. 83 cahoots for you. You are now in first position. Woo! Go me. Go me. It's my birthday. Once that is finished, of course, you will get the answers just like. We will hit next. We'll get the score report. Like I said, whoever answers the fastest will be on the top, and then whoever, of course, has the most points will be answered, just to give everybody a little uh, hint on that. But however, once it's all officially over here, um, the quiz will ask, do you want to end? You say yes. It does everything in here. So it says the winner is Ryan, 1683 cahoots points. You got two correct, none wrong. He is awesome. You hit next. And then right here, is what's really cool is because this is the rating the quiz and if you look over on my iPad I have the ability here so 
How fun was this? Remember that quiz I did something? Yep, this does its own automatically. So it says, how fun was this? And this is great feedback. So let's say you make a fantastic quiz that's intelligent, engaging, but your kids don't like it. They can honestly say, I hated this. They can give it a one star and did you learn something? Well, they learned something, but would you recommend it? No. So they're going to do that. And at the bottom they said, continue to tell us how you feel. Well, I'm indifferent to this quiz. So I'm going to hit that and say, that's okay. We're working hard to improve your score. So then it does the final one. As you can see, you can share your score if you do social networking. But if you don't do social networking, don't worry about this. And if you look over on my screen, the teacher's screen, I got one star saying, it was fun. Did I learn some? Learning was a yes, a thumbs up. Would I recommend it? No, that's the big one here. And to say it's feeling okay. So when we check our final scores, and this is the great thing. Now, this is a great way to check with student interaction as well as classroom points and interactions. You actually can download the results. So I hit download results, and it downloaded right there into a spreadsheet file. Now I have a record of who did what, what answers they got right, wrong, and so forth. So we can go from there. I can favor to this if I want to. I can play it again, or I can say I want to play a different Kahoot, and we can do a new one. And we move on, everybody. And as you can see, if you look at my iPad, it's reset. That is all what Kahoot really is. All you need is some type of computerized device that has internet. That can be an iPad. That can be a tablet. That can be a phone. That can be a desktop computer. As long as your students or audience can see what you're projecting for the quizzes and answers, they can do that. And I'll tell you right now, I have seen this in action. I have a lot of people just love doing it. It's great for bell ringers. It's great for instruction as well as you know business icebreakers. Kahoot is a lot of fun. Kahoot is available at getkahoot.com. Please check it out. It is a fantastic, free, and wonderful resource, especially for classroom teachers and businesses for training seminars. You can find out more at my website, which is right below me here and everything else, for more Taking Your Classroom to the Next Level videos. And I'll be back next time to talk a little bit more about some wonderful resources that will help you take your classroom to the next level with online resources.